Welcome to this guided tour of the Rebus Community Platform. On the platform, you can give and receive publishing guidance, post and respond to calls for contributors, and connect with a global community of people who are changing the world through open education. I'm Apoorva Ashok, publishing liaison at the Rebus Community. In this video, I will show you how to navigate the platform, sign up and create a profile, introduce yourself to the community, ask for help and offer help on open textbook projects, ask and answer questions on publishing OER, and find out about events in the OER community. Let's begin on the main page of the platform. Below the top banner, you'll find a list of categories indicating different ways you can get involved. Further down, you'll see the latest posts and updates from community members. Scroll further and you'll find a form to sign up for our fortnightly newsletter where we share news, calls for participation, event notices, and more. To return to this page, click on the Rebus Community logo in the top left corner. Now that we're oriented with the main page, we can get going. Click on the button in the top right corner to log in or sign up to the platform. Once I'm logged in, I return to the main page of the platform. From here, I'd like to introduce myself, meet other members, read the community guidelines, and learn about the platform. In the Get Started category, I click on First Steps. Here, I see a pinned post which has a list of steps to be completed by users. I'll begin by creating my profile. To do so, I click on the avatar in the top right corner and preferences. I enter my full name and upload my profile picture and then click on profile to enter some details about myself, where I work and links to any applicable websites. Once this is complete, I'll click on save changes. I can click on the avatar in the top right corner to see notifications, direct messages, and bookmark topics. Returning to the main page by clicking on the Rebus community icon, I go back to the Get Started category. This time, I click on the Find Out Who's Here subcategory to complete my introduction. I click on New Topic, where I'm prompted to share some details about my background and objectives, expertise, and interests. I'll enter this information along with some tags so that others can easily find my introduction. The tags I'll use are literature, publishing, translation, and design. Then I'll click on the button Create Topic. From the topic, I can follow the navigation bar below the title to return to the Find Out Who's Here subcategory. I click on VKP's introduction, like it, and submit a short response saying hello. Next, I'd like to post a call for reviewers on my Introduction to World Literature Open Textbook project. Back on the main page, I click on Contributor Marketplace, where I can post or respond to calls for participation and brainstorm about new open textbook projects. I create a new topic here with the details of my call, tagging it as relevant. While in this category, I see that Zoe Wake Hyde is looking for authors for a book on OER publishing. There are some details in the topic, and I might be a good fit, so I will respond and indicate my interest. Next, I'd like to ask a question I have about accessibility when making open textbooks. Using the navigation bar, I click on the Help and Questions category. There's an accessibility and inclusivity subcategory here, so I click through and post my question. I also see that David Santo has posted a question about formatting content that hasn't been answered. So I will click on the topic and post a short reply with what I know about the issue. Now that I've asked my question and answered David's, I'd like to explore other ways to keep up with community and interact with members. The news discussion events category is a good place to see announcements, news, upcoming events, or join a discussion on different OER themes. On clicking through, I see options to RSVP to webinars like office hours or chat with members about up and comers in OER. These topics and other discussions stay on the forum so I can return to them at any point and reference them as needed. 
With this, we've reached the end of our talk. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope that you have learned more about how to use this platform. We believe in making books to build communities and building communities to make books, and we hope you'll join us.